Our next presenter is Lisa Schlein. Lisa is a fourth year PhD student in clinical sciences. With her degree, she hopes to investigate novel therapeutics for canine cancer. Lisa's presentation title is Feverfew, Cheerful Foliage and a Source of an Anti-Cancer Compound. Hi, my name is Lisa Schlein. I'm a veterinarian and a PhD candidate. In my research, I use dogs as a natural model of rare and deadly human cancers. Why are dogs a good model? Human and canine cancers are remarkably similar. In both species, cancers of the same type look identical under the microscope, often have similar genetic mutations and behave similarly in the body. Unlike mouse models, dogs are a genetically diverse, long-lived species and share our environment. Rare human cancers are difficult to study precisely because they are so rare and receive little research attention. But because they are relatively more common in some dog breeds, dogs provide a larger natural study population to ask some important research questions. I'm investigating a compound called parthenolide, which comes from the feverfew plant. In the plant, it's a protective compound that imparts a bitter flavor and can break down bacterial and fungal cell walls. In animals, parthenolide is a potent anti-cancer compound. Parthenolide can selectively kill cancer cells in two major ways while sparing normal cells from negative effects of the drug. The first way is via NF-kappa-B inhibition. NF-kappa-B is a transcription factor, which means that it can bind to DNA and turn genes on or off. NF-kappa-B is critical for normal immune system function, but in health, it's kind of like Superman. It hangs out in his Clark Kent costume until it's needed when it springs into action. After the threat to the immune system goes away, NF-kappa-B returns to its normal inactive state. Some types of cancer have NF-kappa-B that is constantly active, which means that it, has, that it leads to unnatural and unchecked cell survival and proliferation. Parthenolide inhibits the action of NF-kappa-B, disrupting pro-survival signaling and leading to cancer cell death. Parthenolide also acts by altering the redox balance in cells. Reactive oxygen species are typically kept at low levels in normal cells and accumulation can lead to cell death. Because tumor cells have unusual mutations, and metabolic alterations. They typically have high levels of both reactive oxygen species and the antioxidants that are needed to keep them in check. This overextension means that they aren't able to compensate if further reactive oxygen species accumulate. Parthenolide inhibits glutathione, a major intracellular antioxidant, and generates reactive oxygen species, selectively killing overextended tumor cells. So far in my research, I found that many different canine cancer cell types are sensitive to parthenolide. NF-kappa B inhibition, antioxidant inhibition, and reactive oxygen species generation selectively occur in cancer cells that are treated with this drug. And our conclusions right now appear to be generalizable to primary cells, which are cells taken directly from patients in our oncology clinic. We are continuing to evaluate parthenolide in a larger number of samples from canine patients, and these data provide fundamental justif justification for clinical trials in dogs. Thank you.